What up America? Tony from The Real American Outdoor here on Bull Shoals in Oakland, Arkansas. Beautiful day on the water. Water temps about 63 degrees. Getting ready for some fall fishing. And we're going to start just outside our dock and let's see if we can get them. Small, small mouth. He hit it when I was reeling in. Let's see if we can get another one. Stop doing that shit. I'm playing bleed. So it looks like very similar to the one I caught. This is a Strike King football jig. I think this is Strike King. Football jig, watermelon, Strike King. This is their Rage Tail, their grub, twin tail grub. We're in about, uh, about 16 feet of water, cast into about 10 feet of water. Caught another Smalley. Chain We're special Smalley. We're getting there. What up America, day two here on Bull Shoals. Uh, did a lot of homework yesterday trying to figure out where the fish are. We're gonna go fish some creeks off the main lake, throw some football head jigs and some other deep divers, and we'll see if we can get them today. Hey, smaller than yesterday, probably. Oh yeah, small, skinny, small mouth. All right, they're here. Yeah. There we go. Little tiny guy. Little tiny guy. I'll take him. Got one ah. on the board. Now I just got to get J1. Get J1, we can go home. Okay. Bigger. First largemouth of the trip. Yep. Ooh. Nice. It's a very small spot. That came out, and no, that's a large mouth, small, large mouth. I think, oh, no, spot. Small yeah, that's a spot. We are using the Jean LaRue swinging jig head, looks like a three quarter ounce, with the Strike King Rage Tail and Green Pumpkin. Doing work out here on Bull Shoals. Let's throw them back. Going to a style hook. There it is. D. A little smally, very thin smally. What are you using again? Oh, does Jay have one? Oh, fuck, I missed him. Oh, man. Damn it. He missed him. Smally, let's measure. All right, throw him back. No, don't do that. Get in the boat. Wow, that just put uh, put you over. He's hooked on the nose. Well, that's where you want him. No, like, literally on the nose. It wasn't even in his mouth. Oh, nice. As long as he swiped at it and missed. Here, smile. Wow, that's the biggest fish we've caught. You're caught. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him! 16. What up, America? Day three here out in Bull Shoals. Uh, clear skies, sunny, water temp about 62, 63 degrees. Uh, what's worked so far uh, this weekend has been chatterbait and kind of this green pumpkin watermelon color. Um, also, what has worked, as you can see on the deck, we have a football jig, we got a crankbait and topwater, and we also have a little uh, swinging football head jig. This is the Jean LaRue edition with the uh, Green Pumpkin Striking Rage Tail trailer. So that's pretty much what's been working. Caught some decent, a lot more smallmouth than spotted and largemouth, but we'll see if we can even... Small guy, ow, troubles. Strike King uh, 6XD in the shad color, our natural color shad. Caught this little spot. Remember, catch and release, because fish lives matter. Ah, he hit that on the fall. It's easy. Tire out. Yeah, it's a small mouth, dude. Yep, tire out. Yep, tire out. Give it some slack. 
Yep. There Woo! we go. Look at that thing. Look at that. All right, guys, day four out here on Bull Shoals. As you can see, small mouse training us well on the football head jig. Uh, Strike King tour grade with the Strike King. This is their twin tail grub trailer. Nice start to the morning. As you can see, we probably have the most cloud cover, even though it's a little sunny. Talking about off the bank there. That's probably about 10 feet of water where the boat's in about 20 feet. So. Let's see if we can get some more of those today. And uh, that's a nice little spot there. Yeah, nice spot of bass. A little nighttime fishing. Got him! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> yes! Yeah! We can all go home now. Yes. Right? All right, guys, final day out here on Bull Shoals. Definitely the most cloud cover we've seen all week rained a little bit early this morning so we'll see how the conditions change and we'll see That's if we can go after before. just a minute after uh we did our intro video catch this one off a of spinnerbait yeah. off a dock no less yeah. small guy cool he's fighting though oh <laughs> sick fish <laughs> He was fighting too. <laughs> Keep it nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, he's trapped in the trees. There you go. Oh, yeah. Damn, look at that thing. That's a nice fish. Nice. Here. Well, we found the chat. We found Can the you reel my rod for me? Uh, I would actually probably say 17 inches, Tony. All right. Okay. Chatterbait works in every part of the country. Saw him hit it too. No, like you. Nice small um, large mouth. 15. 15 inches. So I never give up. Go. Drop back. Saw him come up and hit that. I was poking some. Okay, no. Hooking himself. Little thinker. Teacup. All right, guys, wrapping up here on Bull Shoals. Just going to go over some of the baits that worked for us this week. Uh, chatterbait, any kind of white color chatterbait uh, worked really well. This is a shag color. Also have our all white you're dropping in right there. Uh, white trailer as well, half ounce. Another bait that worked a lot, and especially in the deep water for the smallmouth, is the football jigs. And this watermelon color. I uh, got a Strike King uh, Rage Crawl or in Green Pumpkin, my bad. Uh, also, uh, the grubs, those Rage Grubs also worked well in that same color as well. And lastly is our Swinging Football Head. Uh, this is the another Strike King Rage Crawl. This was another key bait for whether as the primary bait or a trailer. So these were the three baits deep in the water for the small mouth, up shallow near the docks for the large mouth and the trees and the brush. Uh, overall, pretty good week. Uh, caught a lot more bigger of the small mouth and the spotted than the large, but overall, fun trip. Great place, great views, good fishing. Thanks for watching this uh, vlog video for Bull Shoals 2020, and we'll see you next year on the water.